Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. On a free goal the other day, I was very kindly gifted an M Audio keyboard. It's a MIDI interface keyboard, and I found that you can connect it to an iPad to use with garage bands with a USB C to USB B type cable. Uh, so, obviously, make sure you turn the power on. I'm just checking that uh, we've got power, we've got green LEDs happening. Yes, it was kindly gifted <laughs> through Freegal. It sort of works, but it's just a bit mucky. Uh, like some of the knobs on it, they've got a rubberized texture on the outside that you really need to sort of wipe down because it was all getting quite sticky and mucky. And every time you touch them, your fingers would go black. So let's get around to cleaning our knobs. A sock and some isopropyl alcohol got rid of that problem. And then the next issue that we came across was there was no volume slider. Uh, so uh, it's time again, uh, talking about knobs, to make a knob. So I decided to get a nice piece of hard wood and I made a knob. I made a knob out of wood and I sanded it. <laughs> I'm having a laugh here, just chuckling away to myself and I'm greasing up my knob right now. Uh, there it is, nicely greased up. And I'm just sort of like seeing whether or not it sort of makes sense. And it does make sense. It's a nice looking knob. It's a very shiny, hard wood knob. Um, so time to get a, time to get the uh, Dremel in there and a bit of a hacksaw blade in there uh, and make that knob look beautiful. And there it is, a nice shiny knob, all greased up and ready to rock and roll. That's my volume control. So let's make a song. Let's make a song on the iPad in Garage Tunes. Just enjoy a few minutes of this madness. It does get better, trust me. So it occurred to me uh, that it would be a little unfair if I didn't go ahead and at least show you guys what's in the M Audio. So with the power of an electric screwdriver, let's go ahead and get inside this beast and have a quick look around. So the PCBs that you can see on the, this side of the board here are associated with the slider control right here. Uh, and then we have a group of buttons and another group of buttons. So ultimately these are quite literally just sort of uh, control surfaces or prassel pads. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of cables that plug into this PCB over here. Now this is the heart of the unit. There's a quad flat pack chip here. And then just to its right here is uh, an SOIC. Um, so yeah, there's really not a lot on this PCB at all. There's a f There are a few uh, discrete components, capacitors and uh, resistors and a few bits and pieces. Uh, and then uh, uh, the input here, this is a sustain switch input. This is the power on off switch here. Uh, and here is the USB port. But all of the hard work really um, is being done by this QFP. So interesting to see these guys in play. Uh, and then we have a cable here which connects up to the keyboard itself. Let's just have a quick look at the keyboard. So the way the keys work is really quite interesting. Uh, there's, little, there's little velocity sensors here, little rubberized velocity sensors, uh, so it can detect how 
hard or how quickly you hit that key. And down at the bottom here, there's uh, some damping uh, and there's damping on the return as well. And the springs themselves are literally just bits of plastic. So uh, yeah, you wouldn't, want to, you wouldn't want one of these to snap off because uh, the spring is, is, is just a bit of plastic. Ultimately, it's all plastic. So it can't be too expensive to manufacture this. These will all be uh, injection these will be injection molded parts um, but yeah uh, really quite an interesting little bit of technology and to be fair to it uh, there's not a lot in there so um, so this is why they sell for probably around 100 150 pounds new uh, and if you're very lucky like me uh, someone will give one to you that they're not using and then you can get it all modified up Anyway, there it is, the M Audio Q Station 49, and what a beast it is. Thanks ever so much for watching. As always, people, take care, have yourselves a wonderful week and weekend, and we'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, bye.